Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to draw the stair in section. So we should all have a section drawn here. Uh, I, I've moved my section a little bit closer to the basement plan than yours probably is. I just moved it a little bit closer. So you can see that my, with my crosshairs being this large, you can see that my, my vertical wall and my walls in plan both line up. So I know this stair is going to be, the stairs going to be in this location right here. So the first thing I want to do is take a quick dimension and I'm going to be building my stair from the top of the slab to the top of the main floor subfloor. That's where my feet, from where my feet go to where my feet go. And that distance is going to be 8 foot and 9 and 3 quarters. I need to figure out what this is in inches. So 8 feet times 12 is, I think, 96 plus 9 and 3 quarters equals 105 and 3 quarters. Uh, the maximum height each riser can be is 8 inches. So if I divide 105 and 3 quarters divided by 8, I get 13.2. So that's the exact number of risers I would have. I can't have 13.2 risers. I also can't have any less. So I have to go up to 14. So I know that I'm going to be having 14 risers as an absolute minimum in this house. So what I'm going to do to, to, to calculate this is I'm going to draw a line from, let's say, about there to there. So from the top of the floor, top of the main floor, subfloor, to the top of the slab. I'm just going to move it out of the way here a little bit. So I'm going to move it into the stair locations where I'm going to move it. I'm going to put it right there. Then you can use a uh, command called the divide command. So if I divide... I'm going to select that line I just drew, which is top of slab to top of main floor, subfloor. I'm going to select that and it says, enter the number of segments. I want it to be 14 because I want 14 risers. Uh, if I erase this line now, there's going to be 14 little dots right there. So you can see there's 14. They're called nodes. I'm going to erase this node. I know it's my stair location. Uh, if I type O snap in, if I type in O snap, I can now snap to a node. So if I select node right there and hit OK, now when I go do the line command, it will snap to one of those nodes. So I'm just going to draw a line like this and then extend it to the other side of the stair. That's the only, it's the only node that I need. I could keep drawing lines like that and get all these risers, but I would rather just erase the rest of these nodes, use that, that window there. And now I can just copy this stair riser a whole bunch of times. So if I use the copy command, select that, that stair, if, and if I go down to this point here, that's going to be the exact the rise of each one of these stairs. If I select endpoint and then continue to copy in the upward direction, I just keep copying up. Should be two more there. There's going to be 14 risers here. So if I count not the line but the actual face, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's 14 risers. So that's great. Uh, if I look back at my plan, when I look in plan. Um, when we look in elevation, the face is the riser and the line is the run. In plan, it's the opposite. The line is the riser and the face is the run. So I'm going to see how many, how many uh, risers I have in plan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know I have 10 risers in plan. And then once I get to the corner, it's going to turn. I'm going to have four more risers. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's my 10 risers. I'm just going to extend this line that way. That's how many risers I have. From here to there is 10. Well, these next four risers turn to the side and start going the other way. So what I can do is I can take these risers from plan and bring them straight up. Make sure it doesn't snap to anything. If I want to turn the O snaps off so it doesn't snap like this, I just hit F3. And F3 will turn the O snaps off just for a second. Turn them off and I just hit F3 again. Now O snap goes back on. Instead of going down and clicking this, you can just hit F3. Uh, my first rider going the other direction is going to be right here because as I come down the stairs, the, uh, I don't have a run here. I have my first step as I turn the corner is going to be a rise. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend all of these horizontal lines toward all these vertical lines. I'm going to double and triple extend that one. Now, I don't really know how to describe this part very well, but now I just sort of start making stairs, I guess. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to trim a few things there. Just kind of do this, play it by ear a little bit and see how this goes. I'm going to trim that one up and just start trimming so that I actually make stairs. And trim that there and trim that one there. Now let's go back and erase those two lines. Got to trim a couple more, trim that and trim that. So this looks pretty good. I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is my 10th riser, so this one here also needs to be trimmed like that. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4 risers there and the 10 risers that I have going the other direction. That's how I make my stair. That's actually about it. That went a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to go. 
Um, I went through this in class. If you have any questions on it, be sure to ask me uh, next class. I'll run another quick video right now and I'll show you how to change the background color and show you everything else that I showed you in class. Uh, otherwise, hopefully your stair elevation is going, is going well and we'll talk about it on Tuesday of how to do the stair in the other section. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.